Hi, I'm Jamie Drake, and this is my room. My beautiful powder room is called Cabochon. Once I chose to use the uh, Moxie Lab, a wall-hung exotic piece in a beautiful color called Vapor Orange, it sort of set uh, a tone for me to go in a direction um, that I followed through. I think one of the things that drove my design, of course, was the space, a long, narrow space that you entered at one end. So I wanted to create a separation to the toilet area from the sink area. And the colors of Moxie included this beautiful vapor orange. It's almost like an amber color, a liquid amber, um, beautifully golden with a, just a touch of orange in it. And that was my color inspiration. So when I chose the color to be more of an accent, I brought it into the floor, beautiful marble mosaic, onto the ceiling in paint and a little bit in upholstery. But I wanted otherwise the background to be sort of neutral and so that the color of that would pop. In addition, I wanted to screen the toilet from the rest of the space, but as it's a small space, I wanted a sense of air and light. So I made a wooden screen that's painted the same black, but inset into it is a beautiful modern sort of material, a stainless steel mesh that allows a sense of the space to continue without enclosing it. One of the motifs I wanted to use was polka dots and circles because it's kind of like champagne bubbles and sort of playful and fun, which is what I always think a powder room should be. So I designed a custom mosaic floor of blown up circle pattern, which is the cabochon because they have a bezel around it. And then the wall panels on the upper sections are a lacquered panel set with mother of pearl polka dots. Very playful, very fun, very delicious and glamorous. I think you've got both the trend of pattern and of sort of sensual materials coming together. My lighting choices for this space were um, sconces. It's a sort of a wonderful dressy neoclassical effect. They're shaded sconces, so there's a bit of a dressmaker detail. It's a soft quality of light that's very warm and, and makes everybody look beautiful. And then for task purposes, we've installed some hi-hats as well, which also give a little bit of sparkle and play, especially on the metallic wall finishes. With so much activity on the upper walls, these beautiful lacquered panels, this exoticness, uh, crown moldings, color on the ceiling, I decided to go quite simple with the mirror over the sink. And so I used a Roburn medicine cabinet recessed into the wall, and so it's just a wonderful frameless sheet of glass that floats above the lacquered panels. One thing to always remember, though, is to stop at a certain place. I have pattern on the upper walls, I have pattern on the floor, I have a striped fabric on my swag chair that I designed. Um, there's a lot of fun and playfulness. So Eventually, you need to be a little simpler. In this case, the faucet sets and the lower portions of the wall do that beautifully and it gives the eye a place to rest. It's a space that's very chic and it would probably have been commissioned by someone I envision who's very chic themselves, whether in the city or the country. Um, it's a sense of sparkle, a sense of playfulness in the pattern and the materials.